Mr. Markac advanced false stories and participated in the cover-up of crimes committed by his subordinates against Greenish Herb persons and property. With regard to the commission of crimes by special police, police members, the Chamber found that if Mr. Markets received information concerning crimes allegedly committed by his subordinates, he was duty-bound to inform the criminal police for further investigation. Mr. Markets could also request the suspension of special police members from duty. The Chamber has concluded that, through his acts and omissions, Mr. Markac created a climate of impunity amongst his subordinates, which encouraged the commission of crimes against Greenish Serbs, persons, Serb persons and property. Based on these considerations, the Chamber found that Mr. Markac's conduct amounted to a significant contribution to the joint criminal enterprise. Based on his acts in relation to the preparation of Operation Storm, as well as his acts and omissions with regard to crimes committed by members of the Special Police, the Chamber concluded that Mr. Market had the state of mind that the crimes forming part of the Joint Criminal Enterprise's objective should be carried out. The Chamber therefore found that Mr. Market was a member of the Joint Criminal Enterprise and that through his acts and omissions, he intended to contribute to it. The Chamber further found that other crimes charged, although not part of the common purpose, were natural and foreseeable consequences of the execution of the gen joint criminal enterprise and foreseeable also to Mr. Markac. Having summarized its findings, the Chamber will now give its verdict. Mr. Kudovina, will you please stand? <laughs> For the reasons summarized above, this Chamber, having considered all of the evidence and the arg arguments of the parties, the statute and the rules, and based upon the factual and legal findings as determined in the judgment, find you guilty as a member of a joint criminal enterprise of the following charges. Count one, persecution as a crime against humanity. Count two, deportation as a crime against humanity. Count four, plunder of public and private property as a violation of the laws or customs of war. Count five, wanton destruction as a violation of the laws or customs of war. Count six, murder as a crime against humanity. Count seven, murder as a violation of the laws or customs of war. Count eight, inhumane acts as a crime against humanity. And count nine, cruel treatment as a violation of the laws or customs of war. The chamber finds you not guilty on count three, inhumane acts, forcible transfer as a crime against humanity. With respect to sentencing, the Chamber considered the gravity of the offences, particularly the large number of crimes in a wide geographical area, the vulnerability of the victims, and the abuse of your position of authority. In mitigation, the Chamber considered your behaviour in detention and in the courtroom. 
the Chamber further took into consideration factors relating to sentencing practices in the former Yugoslavia. For having committed these crimes, the Chamber sentences you, Mr. Godovina, to a single sentence of 24 years of imprisonment. You are entitled to credit for the period of time you have been in custody, which amounts to 1,956 days. You may be seated. Mr. Chermak, may you please stand? This chamber, having considered all of the evidence and the arguments of the parties, the statute and the rules, and based on the factual and legal findings as determined in the judgment, find you not guilty on all counts of the indictment. The Chamber orders that you be released from the United Nations Detention Unit after the necessary practical arrangements are made by the Registrar. You may be seated. Mr. Markic, will you please stand? For the reasons summarized above, this Chamber, having considered all of the evidence and the arguments of the parties, the statute and the rules, and based upon the factual and legal findings as determined in the judgment, finds you guilty as a member of a joint criminal enterprise of the following charges. Count one, persecution as a crime against humanity. Count two, deportation as a crime against humanity. Count four, plunder of public and private property as a violation of the laws or customs of war. Count five, wanton destruction as a violation of the laws or customs of war. Count six, murder as a crime against humanity. Count seven, murder as a violation of the laws or customs of war. Count eight, inhumane acts as a crime against humanity and count nine, cruel treatment as a violation of the laws or customs of war. The chamber finds you not guilty on count three, inhumane acts, forcible transfer as a crime against humanity. With respect to sentencing, the chamber considered the large number of crimes that occurred in a wide geographical area and over an extended period of time and the vulnerability of the victims. The Chamber further considered the abuse of your position of power in aggravation. In mitigation, the Chamber considered your medical condition. The Chamber further took into consideration factors relating to sentencing practices in the former Yugoslavia. For having committed these crimes, the Chamber sentences you, Mr. Markac, to a single sentence of 18 years of imprisonment. You are entitled to credit for the period of time you have been in custody which amounts to 1,477 days. You may be seated. This concludes the delivery of the judgment, which will be now be made publicly available. The chamber stands adjourned. All rise. We will have it.